Greetings and welcome back to Timberborn. I'm Catherine of Sky, and as I've been sitting here like fiddling with options with OBS and stuff like that, I've heard so many like new tracks. It's so nice. The music is incredible. I have I don't I don't know if they're new or if I've just missed them, but they're beautiful. Anyway, we're back to Timberborn again because guess what? There have been some amazing content updates. Holy crap! The the beavers can now build bots. Golems, they're called? They can do work for them? This is great. Uh, there are a lot of new things that the devs have added. Amazing, amazing stuff. Really excited to look into this. Um, the updates have come out a few weeks ago, um, but they've been continually refined by the devs and uh, optimized and things like that. So I felt like it was a really good time to kind of jump into this and uh, get stuff going. So the last colony that we built was Folk Tales, and I kind of like to alternate them because I like both uh, both factions here. So we're going to play the Iron Teeth. Um, and I am running this game uh, with one mod, and the mod is to be able to name the beavers after my patrons on Patreon. Um, so if you are a patron, then, uh, of, of the tier where you get the name in game, then you will see your name being born. You're going to be a beaver. It's exciting. Okay. So we're also going to play a custom map. This one is called Shattered Earth. Um, it's just a shattered here, but if you go on the Timberborn Maps, I think it's timberbornmaps.com. Just look for Timberborn Maps and you'll find the Shattered Earth. It is a very interesting map. Um, and I just picked it because it looked cool. And uh, you can also Google how to install, where to install the Timberborn Maps. It's basically in your documents, my documents directory. Uh, very easy. So we're going to just select this map because, okay, map version is not compatible, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I want to start because I have tested this. We're going to go on normal mode because hard mode... It's just annoying. It's not fun and it's not challenging. It's just annoying. So we're not going to play that. We're going to play normal mode um, because I like to have more flexibility. Uh, and I feel like the beavers would not settle in a place that was hostile to them. You know what I mean? Like 30 days of drought and stuff like that. I don't find that very fun. Um, it's it's doable and I've done it before. I've done Iron Teeth hard mode before. Um, and it was, so uh, it just got tedious at, at certain points. Um, so we're just going to play normal mode. I really like that better because of the flexibility of the seasons and stuff like that. It's more fun. Uh, this map is quite interesting because, uh, the author of the map says that they wanted to have to move around a lot and boy, were they right. <laughs> it's interesting. Okay, what would we like to call our settlement? Okay, I know what this map looks like, so we're going to call it the Mesas. And by the way, if you uh, want to be in this settlement um, as a character... Oh, shoot. Oh, you know what? These will be... Shoot, I forgot to delete the other one. I'm going to call it the other Mesas. <laughs> the other Mesas! That's fine! Okay, we're Iron Teeth. We're Grafer. Hello! We have Therion Dracos, welcome, J Bookworm, uh, Gustavo Maximus, we have Lily Kate, hello, hello, Cat Bloomfield, Kitani, Hetrix Marshall, uh, Andrea, Super He Man, Lyle Moonlight, and Corey Gerard. Welcome everyone to the colony. So this map is very interesting, you will you will see here shortly. Uh, we're gonna take this uh, bird's eye view instead of the beaver's eye view. Basically, we have this crazy under under river section of rivers, and there's a lot of mesas above them. And there's some like iron up here. There's other weird things and formations and waterfalls and stuff. And a, a lot of these mesas actually have some form of water there. Um, but a lot of it has to be expanded if we want to use it for farming or anything like that. We start in the center of this world here. And um, we are given uh, lots of trees. We have a lot of trees over here that we can mine. Uh, some over here as well. Um, and then we also have a lot of uh, berry bushes. So there's something special about this river here, which is that if we look at it, it's two tiles deep. 
So if we want to build a dam, we're kind of out of luck because we have to build, we have to get science first in order to build the under layer of the dam in order to put the other dam on top. Or we have to buy stairs, both of which cost research points. But look what's here. There's a nice little dam of one tile deep. So this is not going to run out uh, in the first drought anyway. Uh, we might run out in later droughts, but not the first one. So anyway, we are kind of safe in terms of damming uh, possibilities. So I think we're looking pretty good with that. What we want to do then is focus on resource gathering first. Um, and so let's put in, first thing I want to put in is going to be a, there's a piece of fuzz over here. Okay. Water pumps, deep water pumps we have over here. Uh, also, that is really, I got to turn off that steam thing, which tells me what people are playing. Cause like this one person like keeps stopping and starting the same game. And I'm like, dude, what are you doing? Uh, but anyway, it's not a person I know well, so I'm not going to say, dude, what are you doing? But it's weird. It's just weird. Okay. So let's start here making a road. Um, and then where do we want to go with this road? Let's go up maybe here to connect there. And then. I would like to have a road connecting to this forest. Uh, we probably will build this dam out here to have maximum area to have some water wheels or something here. And then let's put a, um, a, for a, a forest. Let's put a forest all the way into the forest. Yeah. <laughs> if we can English today, that would be really nice. Okay, let's put in a couple of lumberjack posts each. Um, that is important for first things. Can I, I think I can actually, if I look at the workplaces here, lumberjack flags. Oh, I have to do them individually. All right. Well, it's easier than clicking on them, I guess. So this is going to be for, uh, construction and then, uh, yeah, we'll deal with the other part, spots, parts, spot. Oh my God. Words help. Yep. Um, we're going to build a farm. We're going to build it one tile away from the road and one tile away from this road there. Okay. And the reason for this is we're going to build a storage solution that is going to be like this. Once, uh, we get stairs, we're going to have the farmhouses on top of the warehouses, but this is what this is going to look like for now. Okay. Let's just build to there. Okay, good, good. So that's how we know where we're going to put our initial farm crops. And um, speaking of that, um, one of the things that we would like to do probably is get in a water wheel, maybe along this edge, but I think we'll delete stuff and add stuff later. But this is also going to be pretty high. I think I'll put this on high. Also, also, right? If anyone says the phrase when you prioritize all the things you're prioritizing none of the things you're going to get banned because that means you haven't actually watched my show and you are repeating some random phrase that you heard once upon a time and you haven't actually watched my content because in everything that i do i always carefully prioritize in clan folk in this game in other games, I don't ever prioritize to the highest everything. I am very careful to use the options that I have. So, yeah, watch yourself. If you have any temptation to say that phrase, I suggest you don't. It's not a good idea. Also, we can now pre-assign warehouses. I think we saw that in the last update. Uh, carrots is what we're mainly going to store here. When we delete this farmhouse and move it upward, we're going to uh, get sunflowers in here. But yeah, I'm not joking. I will ban you from commenting on my YouTube videos. Uh, if you say that phrase, I'm so tired of hearing it. It's it's like people who are just parrots. They just repeat what they hear. You might as well just say, home is where the heart is, or absence makes the heart grow fonder. Those have more relevance to this than when you prioritize everything, you prioritize nothing because you haven't actually watched what I'm doing. Right. Okay, so gripe out of the way. Um, let's go ahead and plant food here as well. Um, plant crops. Okay, so let's get in. Uh, mostly carrots are going to be here, actually. Uh, let's put in these carrots here. And then we'll put in a few sunflowers. And the reason we're going to have these sunflowers is mostly for... And I'll put one there for decoration. 
purposes, um, is mostly because um, we want to vary their diet and we're getting more happiness points and therefore more... Let's see, what can we see what they want here? Oh yeah, so carrots give us what? Hello? Uh, no mouse over anymore? Hello? Can I, can I see some mousing over, please? Hello? Oh god, did they really change it to where there's no mouse over? I'm trying to mouse over anything on this bar. Oh, for god's sake. Why did they mess up the UI? Why? Nothing is mouse overable. This is nuts. Is it is it somewhere else? Migration, well well being? Is it in here? There's nothing there. No, of course not. Power, storage, workplaces, housing, no. Why would it be anywhere? Right. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna have a call to action here. Unless there's a way to see this, can everybody please write on the Discord for this game? Please give us mouse overable effects. Please. Just please. Because now we can't see what causes what. I always looked like, okay, what gives them more carrying capacity? What gives them more speed? And now it looks like we can't do this. It looks like it's, okay, working speed. Oh, no, maybe not. Maybe they've changed this. Okay, so now it's they've changed it. Okay, so it looks like when you get well-being of two, you get 5% of movement speed. So it's not... Oh, okay, so you can kind of give them whatever you want. And it gives you X amount of points. Looks like some give two points, some give one point. Okay, so don't don't everybody get in a rush to write. I see they've changed this. This is very interesting. So life expectancy, we have... Well-being of seven is needed to get plus twenty percent. Okay, this is this is heavy heavy duty stuff here. All right, that's fine. That's fine. We're good because we can do this. We know we can do this, and it's fine. So we're gonna add more workers here to the district center, and uh, write to me. Tell me what uh, you want this. Uh, settlement to be called by the way i'm gonna try to record in a bit of a batch uh time uh, because i have had very little time to actually record oh oh people need stuff to cut we have to cut the trees let's do it um and it's been nuts so i would i just need to record a whole bunch of stuff so that i can record a whole bunch of stuff uh, because it's been, my life has been hell recently. Absolute abject hell. I mean, real hell. It's not, not made up hell. This is actual hell. Uh, I have had several days of literal, horrible, actual hell. I would never wish those days, even on my worst enemy. Because that's not how I deal with enemies. I don't actually have any enemies, so I don't know how I deal with them. But anyway, I probably wouldn't do that. Because I, I tend to be a nice person. Anyway, so now they can go and do stuff, uh, which is great. They need to cut, 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 cut. And now I also want to put in a storage box for the wood. So what I'm going to do with this wood is I'm going to leave a space on the right-hand side for a staircase to go up. So that is going to be free. And maybe I'll put a road there just to remind me hmm, uh, that that is going to be used. So there we go. We're cutting, cutting, cutting. And then this is going to be probably not the first thing they make because they're making the water to pump first. And then they're going to make this next, I hope. And also as a workplace, we want to put the farmhouse way, way up high there. Same thing with the water pump. We want that to be one of the first buildings they occupy because it is so needed. All right. So beavers are cutting. We have four beavers cutting uh, logs, cutting trees. Uh, doing stuff so that they we have water pump made. This is fantastic. This is pretty great, pretty great. So here, what I would like to do is we're going to put in a small water tank here. Leave one space at the end so we can turn the corner. And then do this. And then we'll put one up at second to highest. Because we want this farmhouse to be completed first. We want to prioritize things extremely carefully. We absolutely need to prioritize and get these crops planted because otherwise we're going to have some issues. Actually, we can build a gathering flag here and that gathering flag is going to enable us to build the uh, or to gather the berries. 
because initially we don't have a lot of food. We really need to get stuff going. Okay, we have two farmers working. Uh, Gustavo Maximus and Super He-Man are being the farmers this time. And we are prioritizing planting, which is important because uh, what happens is when they... I'm not sure if they changed it, actually. I think last time we observed weird behavior, but last time, or the time before that, they would harvest a crop and then they would plant it immediately instead of, like, trying to go everywhere or get stuff. They would stay on the same square and plant. I don't know if that's still the case, but we'll find out shortly. It will be fine. It will be fine, yes. And then we need to put in... Uh, actually, I'm going to wait. Okay, so the farmhouse is built. That means I'm going to move this one up in priority. Okay, and the next thing I want to do is build a house because housing is kind of important for the beavers. Also, I want to leave one space here and we're going to have one housing unit over there. And that means we can put in a road here, which is kind of perfect for what we're doing here. This is going to be absolutely fantastic. There we go. Oh, sorry. I should have said that properly. Absolutely fantastic. There we go. Going to learn you some Sweden. We're going to learn you some Sweden. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. Anyway, uh, we are getting some stuff now. The other thing that we would like to do is, um, okay, so this, we do actually need this in a bit of a heart. Okay, so they are working on that. That's great. This one uh, can be second priority. And then I also want to put in housing. We need the breeding pods to start working. Let's put in three. And these, let's just drag the thingy over them. Those are going to be highest priority because now this thing is finished. So now these things can be higher priority. So you see non-believers out there how many things are prioritized we have three of the same we have one a step lower and everything else is just regular build so don't don't freak out i know this is hard to believe that i don't actually prioritize everything i think people have a hard time with that word everything they don't know what everything means uh, everything means everything everything yeah anyway Unless they actually mean that everything has a priority, but that doesn't actually make sense. So I don't know. They're weird. People is weird. Also, I want to probably, all right, we have three vacancies. So I'm going to take off two of these spots so that they are not counted as vacancies. Uh, and, and the beavers can move elsewhere because we need them to do other jobs. Okay, so these guys are missing both water and berries. Uh, we'll get, hopefully, those in time soon. Uh, the crops should be ready soon as well. Oh, there they go. Little baby beavers are existing as tiny little beans, peanuts. Cute. Very cute. Very cute. We're still sleeping on the floor. It's fine. But we're getting the barracks working. Uh, we have six logs for that so far. So not, not finished by any means. Also, by the way, I am currently in Norway land. That's why my microphone sounds funny. Uh, because my normal microphone is approximately 7,650 miles away, give or take. Um, or, no, that's kilometers, sorry. 7,650 kilometers and or uh, 4,000-ish miles away. I forgot the number in miles. I should look it up. Um, I did actually calculate how far it is exactly from my home to Matthias's home. Uh, so that's kind of that value. I know I'm not there right now. I mean, I'm in, um, I'm near Oslo in Norway right now. So I'm a tiny bit further to the west, but it will do in a pinch. It is closer than, that estimate is closer than just saying, hey, I'm five miles away. It's fine. Yep. Anyway, let's go. Okay, so beavers now have a home. This is good. We're at beaver level three. This is good, good, good. Let's let's click on a beaver and find out what we have now. All right, so we have plus 5% movement speed. That's fantastic. All right, let's go. Well-being uh, is we need... Well-being 5 is is 10% something. 
the first thing. Whatever the is that working speed or something? I don't know. I like this system better, I think, because last time you had to like do very specific things. Um, and if you didn't have those materials or whatever in one place, it was kind of difficult, whatever. Ah, oh, this, this is nice. I like this. It's good. It's very good. Okay, so now what we can do, we have, all right, so we do have three construction sites still pending. What I can do is I can build, if we have nothing else to do, we can build the farmhouse up here. Uh, and that will be a lower priority. Uh, one of the things I would like to do, though, is build a tiny bit of science. Science is great. Science is good. Oh, I'm not going to rhyme that further because it sounds weird. Okay, so let's put one of these down a priority and one of these up. All right, we're at well-being four. That's great. Goals. Okay, so here we go. Population well-being. I'm surprised this isn't in this menu over here. I don't know actually how to get to this menu if I were to, like, try. No idea. All right. It's okay. No worries. We're good. We'll get there eventually, I'm sure. Okay, we now have the ability to harvest carrots. Okay, let's watch them. Okay, so they are actually delivering stuff back before they... Do they do they plant and then... No, they, they plant and then gather. Okay, that's something, I guess. So plant, gather, plant, gather. And they don't go back. I don't know, though. I don't, I don't think that's the same thing. I, I think it works differently than it used to. So it's not as time-saving as it used to be. Which is a tiny bit sad, but it's okay. It, you know, this is the way the game works. And we are living within that parameter. Number cruncher. Ooh. A complicated machine that solves calculations without beavers operating it. Holy fuzzy cats. <gasps> that sounds amazing. Okay, golem part factory, golem assembler, charging station for golems, control tower for golems. All right, so we need the number cruncher. That sounds great. This is actually really good on science, but we need a lot of power to operate the thing. So we're going to need, initially, we do actually need a, a wheel to, uh, to let the beavers <laughs> make some wood. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Housing, not housing. I want wood. There we go. Yep, we need we need to get planks in order to get the next thing, which is the forestry department. We also need uh, to get um, science going and get some platforms and stuff, and planks are needed for those. Okay, so we have lots of things getting harvested now. We still are relying a lot on berries, but soon hopefully we'll have these carrots coming in and life will be a tiny bit better. So we're just going to let these get finished. Okay, we do have, we have nobody working here. We have one vacancy. But the breeding pods should help with that sure, shortly. Very shortly. Okay, what else can we do here? We have, uh, we don't actually have much can, do we? We have a teeth grindstone. That's a new item, actually, that is interesting. Can Is this a... Okay, use to sharpen broken teeth. Okay, we're now we're at six, which is crazy good. Um, but we need to figure out. Oh, this is misaligned. Oh, naive. Okay, maybe on the other side though it'll work. I don't know. We'll see. Let's see how that pans out. Um, but yeah, it would be nice to get. Okay, we have too many. Okay, we need to pause this one. This is not needed to operate right now. Uh, what else is... Oh, these guys opened up. Yeah, of course, of course. Ooh, that's not good. What we can do is actually pause one of these guys and, yeah, have the inventor's hut operating. It is really important to start generating science early because you need to have the forestry hut. Absolutely need to have that forestry hut up and running. It's super important uh, because otherwise you run out of trees and then you're dead. Then you are actually dead. Beavers need trees like they need air and water and food. Beavers are very tree oriented. We'll just say it that way. Anyway, this area of land is way too big for one farm to work on. Uh, sure, they planted initially, but then the cycle of crops is such that they can't take care of it. So we actually do need a second house here. Um, but at the moment, we do not have the technology to operate it. That's the problem we have. We need the staircase, which requires 60 science. I think it's 60. Let's check. 
Is it still 60? Yeah, no, it's 70. Okay, I was wrong. Um, I, I think I misremembered it. I think it's probably always been 70. Anyway, so we do have lots of logs here. That's good. Plenty of logs to build stuff with. Um, so let's see, what else do we need to be built? Let's find out what we can do with building. Um, we have farms. We could put another farm out here. That is another option for sure. Um, I guess we can. Let's just put in this uh, road. Okay, and then we want one, two, and another road there. Okay, and then I'm not sure what's happening on this side. But we could do something like this. One, one, two, three, one, two, three. That's fine. And up. And maybe we have a farmhouse here. Uh, which, of course, is... Um, like this. And then the farmhouse goes on top. Like that. And then we have a thingy here. And that farmhouse is going to get potatoes. So let's go ahead and just say allowed none. And then they are allowed to have potatoes. Sure. Okay, very good. Also, if you're not clued in on the way these warehouses work, the all none thing, like this number, this is desired. Meaning pull this from other warehouses in the world or deliver it here because we want... 50 or 100 of them over here okay it does not mean we're only allowing 10 it means pull 10 from other places so i just say usually I, I usually say none or i just don't even it doesn't matter but it will not be none it will be the amount that uh is well, it'll go to max that is one reason why I do a warehouse for every separate item. You have to. Otherwise, if you have warehouses that just store everything, they'll eventually get cluttered with one thing, which is usually wheat. Uh, and all of your warehouses will just have wheat. All of them. Every one of them. Trust me. I know this from fact. I know this from experience. Trust your Kalis. She knows what she's talking about. Anyway, um... Okay, uh, building lacks workers. Yeah, I bet they do. Mm -hmm. So is anybody working here? No, nobody's working there. So that doesn't really help us very much. We could fire the inventor. I don't think that's a good idea, though. We just need more, um, more babies being born. But they are getting there. So this one, breeding progress, is it's still very slow here. Uh, but it's fine. I mean, they're all... They're all breeding at some point. So this is still the first crop, I think, of children, babies. Or have they have they actually been born? Oh, yeah, we had. Felms was born. And Rask01 was born. And Mooing747 was born. Oh, I just realized Mooing is probably Boeing 747 Mooing. As in, like, a cow plane. Is that a thing? A cow plane? Hmm, I don't know. Sounds interesting, though. Okay, and then secondarily, we would like to have... The storage, the log storage, can go to the right. And this is why we left a space. This will become obvious in just a bit. I will fix it for you, I promise. But we first need to have 70 science points so I can fix that for you. Actually, 70 plus, we want to have the regular platform, which is 100. So 170, basically, is what we need. Um, this is looking really good, but we just have no staircases. Uh, but it's okay. We will get there. We're waste Actually, you know what? We're wasting this power. So I'm going to turn this on pause. I'm going to turn this on pause. So we have two science huts going instead of wasting this power. I was kind of thinking, I'm like, huh, I should turn off that power. But where do I put them? And then I find, oh, yeah, we have two inventors huts. Hmm, imagine that. So anyway, we still have um, four vacancies. Where are we needing people? Oh, in the farmhouses. Yes, of course. That makes sense. Um, yeah, because I haven't actually paused. I can, I can pause these buildings. Uh, because they're not actually functional yet, so we don't need to allocate for them. Or worry our pretty little heads about any of this situation. Now, the foresters are going to be available at 60 science points. And I, just, I know that, that value from the top of my head. Um, but yeah, otherwise it's kind of rough, kind of rough. But I think we can, we have plenty of trees here that we can start doing the other thing which is the platforms first 
Uh, and then we can get the forestry hut. I think that will be fine. We, we aren't in that desperate need of trees yet. Okay, we're at 75. So let's go ahead and buy these stairs. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pause both of these inventors huts and send them over there to work uh, in these, these areas. Uh, one is the plank maker, lumber mill. Corey is working there hard. And Hetrix Marshall is powering it with his, his, his running little legs there, running in the, in the hamster wheel. Perfect, perfect. Okay, and now that means we can put in these stairs for these farmhouses. Now, these guys cost uh, one log and four planks. So that's pretty expensive. Four planks, you know, it's it's a lot. But it's worth it to have this uh, this area of land for the crops underneath it. So once this one is built, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. We're going to delete this farmhouse and put in a warehouse underneath it so that we can get the sunflower seeds stored there. Um, all right, there we go. Yep. We are making, 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 doing things and stuff. Hooray. Okay, so this is going to get that. And while we're making, we might as well set up a little bit of a staircase here. We don't have the thing for the platform, so we'll just have to, like, wing it for a tiny bit. That's where we're going. So drought is going to hit us in half a day, which I'm not terribly worried because we have a lot of water stored up in these tanks here. And we also have the river, which is pretty, pretty, pretty deep. And we have this depth over here to to think about as well. If we look at how deep this is, this goes several tiles deep. One, two, three, four, five deep five deep the only problem it's not connected to this body over here is it well actually this part this sort of cross-shaped part is only a few tiles so the rest of it is connected so this has a lot of wa water to draw from this is not something we should be worried about at this size of a colony or this many water pumps we have very very little there okay drought has been started let's go ahead and take uh, the road further so that our beavers can travel further it's always a nice thing. Um, but yeah, the water level you can see did drop because these crops and these bushes have gone uh, completely dry. So we don't want that to happen. It's not great. Um, yep, we are still good on food, though. All of our food is still uh, percolating. Everything is fine. All is great and good and, and wonderful. It's pretty great. Unconnected building. Ah, yes, of course. We still need those 60 science points for that. But we need to have some of, okay, we have planks. So let's go ahead and stop these buildings, pause them both, and put them back in science, I think. You're going to have to, you know, initially you got to shuffle around your workers a little bit to, to make everything better. I am thinking about increasing the breeding pods. I'm a little bit worried because it is kind of, I don't know, there, there's a tiny trap there a little bit. If you can't create your colony fast enough, things can go bad quite quickly. But anyway, I did notice there's some new buildings and stuff. We have, um, I was especially in the well-being category, we had some double shower. Check that out. That's always nice. Medical bed uh, performs better when supplied with medicine by a healer. So then you got your healer who takes dandelions and water and wood to make medicine, right? And they distribute it to the medical beds, uh, but it is also a building. And then of course here, uh, the dandelions are in the trees and bushes category. I didn't know dandelions were bushes. I, I thought that would be a farm, but I guess it's put in there for balance or something. Um, but yeah, you can grow dandelions now. My mom likes dandelions. She will never cut them out of the grass. She just, you know, I mean, they're flowers. They're not weeds, they're just flowers. They just look different. You can actually eat dandelions, I believe. Don't don't take this as like, yeah. Look it up first. Look it up first. Or talk to a medical professional and ask them. If, I believe they put dandelion leaves in salads, though. Anyway, um, I should not be telling people to eat stuff. Unless it's like from a store because I could get in trouble. So don't get me in trouble, right? Look up dandelions before you try to eat them. All right, so we have more people getting born. All right, and now the river has returned to full flow. This is kind of great. All the things are great and all the stuff. We're now 60 points, so let's buy the plat 
platform for 100 points, not 60. It's, of course, the Forester who is 60. Uh, here it is. Forester is 60 points. That would be nice to get started, actually. Maybe I should buy this for 60 points. It's seven planks, which we don't have also. You know what? Let's just go ahead because making wood is one of the more annoying things. Okay, I'm going to put this right here because it's at kind of a max range from the thing and we can always add water here. That's the, the thinking on this. Okay, so that's good. We're going to put this on. I guess it's the only building left to construct. But we're going to pause both of these so that we get um, so that we get the workers going. Um, we have two beavers unemployed. Holy fuzzy cats. All right, you go back to work. Back to work for you. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to delete this one. Yes, pause and unpause this. Okay, and then... We can add in another storage warehouse and then add in another farm. Hey. And of course here we delete this road and then add in a staircase. Also, please nobody micromanage me by saying you can press shift delete. Just don't, please. I've played this game before. I know all the shortcuts. The way I do it is the way I do it. And if you find the need to micromanage somebody, go and see a psychologist. Like, that's not healthy, man. Just do your own life. Do your own life and don't worry about me. I'm fine. I've gotten along for quite a few years. Maybe even more than one decade. You never can tell. Um, but yeah. I know how to live my life. I know how to run my life. Okay, nobody lives here yet. Oh, no. Oh, no. No workers. Okay, we're going to pause these people, open up one of those, and have one forester. All right, now, let's plan some stuff here, okay? What I want to do, I want to plan some dandelions, a few. There we go. I don't know how many we need, actually. And then I'm going to plan... Hmm, kind of tempted to plan... Let's see. Maple is needed. Chestnuts are for food. Pine is for resin. We're going to add some stuff here. Let's do three. No. You know what? Those things should be left alone and not cut. We're going to make cutting things, okay? Let's make things all maple right now. Just trying to do where that we have stuff. Okay, there we go. Let's try this for a bit. So Forester will plant closest to the hut and then kind of go around in concentric lines, circles from that. Oh no, Lyle died of old age. No, and Jay Bookworm, no, stop dying. Stop dying. This is bad. Dying is bad. We don't have enough beavers. Uh, we only have 12 plus 3. So we have two spaces in vacancy. Um, it looks like we still need to, we really need these trees to come up. That's kind of important. But if we are doing well right now. We are actually doing well. So it's it's fine. We're not in any kind of uh, hurry or anything like that. Everything is just fine. All the things are fine. Ah, but one thing that is not fine. I forgot to add a campfire. Let's add a campfire here. And then this one is going to have a road here. So that means we could build the rooftop terrace over here. And I'm trying to find a spot that is, I don't know, convenient or something, whatever the word is for that. I want to add a road here. I guess what I could do is do a few of these onesie places here. Have a couple of tooth grindstones and a couple of temples, maybe? Is that a sexy sound to hear for beavers? Like, you know, while they're sitting at a temple, like, get their teeth ground? I don't know. I'll put the shrines in the middle. I didn't mean temple, I meant shrines. You probably knew that. Okay, we're at zero. So that should give us more well-being in any case, which is kind of nice. 
So we're waiting for 100 science points. That's our main focus right now. Once all the trees are planted, then we will able to be able to have a little bit more flexibility. But uh, not chestnut. Maple, I haven't recalculated, but I, at last calculation, it was the most, uh, most best, the best kind of tree to plant in terms of time per... Oh, they do look like dandelions. One of the things in this game is the plants look so great. Love the way the plants look. Um, yeah, time per growing cycle on the wood. So 24 days equals four wood. That's eight days per wood. So this is 30 days equals uh, eight wood. Wait, this was eight days per wood? No, six days per wood. This is it's four, a little bit more, less than four. This one is six days per wood and nine days per wood. So yeah, not good. But birch grows faster, but we're we're not in a hurry. We're fine, actually. We're just fine. Everything is chill in KOS land. Just remember that. We are all chilling out. It's really great. It's fun. It's great. It's all the things and all the stuff. Yay. So yeah, um... Mooing is going to go ahead and uh, just plant all these trees. Doing a good job. Doing a great job. Planting dandelions as well. So now we can take this one. Oh no, I forgot to do the thingy thingy. Dang it. All right, well, it's half filled, but it'll it'll go away at some point. All right, so we're going to put in, uh, what are these, sunflowers under S. I like that uh, the devs put them in alphabetical order. That is very handy. Some games do not. I don't know why. It's weird, but they don't. Yeah, I know. It's strange. But it'll be okay. I wonder if I should put this one on a platform as well. Probably. Because I kind of want to put in a series of warehouses here, but... Maybe I should put them in here. I could do that as well. Like, I could put in a warehouse here and have one right across. Like this. Because this one will have that second story access anyway. So, let's say none, none. This one will be none, none. Let's put the bottom one dandelions. I guess the top one should be healing stuffs. Uh, what is it called? Healy stuff? No. Potions? What is it called? Flower roots, chestnuts. Oh, maybe it's a thing that they only make in the thingy? Maybe. Because I don't see any healy stuff in there at all. Must be a thing they only make in the thing. Yeah, that sounds great. That is great Englishing. Yes, sir. Mmm. Tasty, good, nice. Yes. Right. Okay. Uh. Actually, this is a problem. No, I miscalculated. I think. No, no, no. I didn't. I didn't. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I thought I miscalculated. I did not. It is fine. Everything's looking good. Okay, dandelions are happening. Nice, nice. Good, good. Okay, I don't know who gathers them, though. Is it this person? Prioritize blueberry chestnut dandelion. Okay, so these, these people gather them, not the forester. That's interesting. Good, good. Okay, we're at 104. We are there now. We are actually there. Hooray! Took us a tiny bit, but it's okay. All right, so then we take this up. So these have to be there as well. So then let's just take this over here. And we can add our roads. Important. There we are. Okay, so this is now a thing. Now then, we don't have a lot of free beavers so what i might do it's hard because a forestry uh, person is very needed to plant these uh trees because the trees take a very long time to grow 
So I'm kind of like, eh. But then again, we have a ton of trees. We really have many, many trees to harvest over here. This this map is very generous with the trees. And there's all, all of these trees over here as well. So I think what I'm going to do is we're going to open these up and close these down. Yep, close that down. Sorry. Uh, we do have enough food right now. That's important to note. Oh, we actually have too much. No oh, too much food. Okay, that's fun. Uh, we ended up having two more beavers. Oh, wait. We have two unemployed beavers? Really? Oh, that's nice. Okay, we're opening it all up. I could have sworn that was uh, the opposite there. But no problem at all. It's working very, very nicely. Okay, well, as is traditional, we will leave... Our, oh, we have people that are homeless now, too. Oh, no, that's not good. Anyway, at least this beaver is smart by the firelight. This is mouse curled up like a mouse by the firelight. And um, as is traditional in our episodes, I will say thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.